Here on Vanguard business? On the record? What response? There you are. Captain? Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Time for us to start getting some real answers. And figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready, I... Yes. It will be. Percival and I have done our damage. This... This is us starting to put some things right. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. 
the most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Hope you've calibrated that thing. All right, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good, Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this, but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs, and they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. lived in New Atlantis almost my entire life, and I had no idea this place even existed. The UC certainly excels at keeping secrets. You may proceed down the corridor, but there are no additional visitors permitted. Your friend's gonna have to wait out here. I'll be fine. You go on ahead. Come down and approach the intercom. 
quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other, an invisible enemy lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get, which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? I'm Francois Fanon, but most know me as the Victus. I was an admiral during the Colony War, one of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes, but the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here, a sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. Specialty. If it dealt death, 
he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal, and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. You can certainly try, but the man's been out there 20 years. He's likely gone feral by now. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship and be done with it. Where this will all lead. All right, let's go. I'm uh, pretty sure you weren't supposed to take that. Excuse me. Captain, did your uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. Surprised me too when I learned it. But the uh, prisoner has proven useful over the years and kept far from any major decision-making. But I do think it's worth re-emphasizing. No one else can know about this, all right? Good, because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance, Captain, that you're unhinged. 
and that's not a good look for any of us. Now, was there something in particular you needed to discuss about what we were just discussing? Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question, but bringing him to justice... He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? The Den? It's a star station. Orbiting Wolf, the second star station actually to bear that title. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake, but I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. Then I'll bid you good day, Captain, and remind you of the importance of discretion. <laughs> <laughs>